Hi guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be solving the question increasing triplet subsequence. Given an integer array nums, we need to return true if there exists a triplet of indices i, j and k such that i is less than j is less than k and the numbers nums of i, nums of j and nums of k are in increasing sequence that is nums of i less than nums of j is less than nums of k. And if no such indices exist, we need to return false. So let's go through the example. We can see that here the sequence is increasing and more than three number appear in increasing sequence. So the output is true. In example two, here there is a decreasing sequence that is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the output is false as there are no three numbers in increasing sequence. In the example 3, we can see 0, 4 and 6 are the three numbers in increasing sequence and it meets our criteria. So the output would be true. The constraints are the numbers would be from the lowest level of integer to the highest level of integer and the length of array would be from 1 to 10 raised to 5. Now, simply we could solve this question by using three loops. That is a brute for solution and that would take n cube of complexity. The other option with this question is that this question is similar to the longest increasing subsequence question where we need to find whether the increasing subsequence is of length 3 or greater than 3. The follow-up question here is that could you implement a solution that runs in O of n time complexity and O of 1 space complexity. So these are the examples that were given. Apart from that, I have added one more example, which is having all the numbers which are equal. In that case, also, we need to return false because no triplet was found. Let's take this example and try to solve the question. We loop on the array and fill these three values as we find them. So our index will start from zero. And now when we compare the value of the number at index and the number i, we see that this number is smaller than the value that is present in i which was by default we added as max value. So this is less than or equal to and so we update it. Similarly, we'll go to the next index and now we can see that one is again lesser than the value we have in i so we will update it. Now 5 is not less than the value in i which means it is greater than i. So we will check the value with j and now 5 is less than the value in j and we will update jth value. We have now got two numbers which are in increasing sequence. If we keep doing it until the end, we will get our values updated something like this. So when we come across 0, i will get updated to 0. Then when we come across 4, j will be updated to 4 and at the end, here we can see that 6 is less than equal to max. So we update k. k becomes 6 and as soon as we update k, we return true. Okay, so we'll take two variables i and j and we'll not take the variable k and I'll tell you why while we do it. Now we'll take a for loop. In this for loop, we write the conditions if nums of current index is less than equal to i, we just update i. Otherwise, if nums of index is less than equal to j, we update j. Otherwise, this was the condition for k. But do we actually need to store k? No, we just need to return true. And if all these are not satisfied, we return false. Since the length is given from 1 to 10 raised to 5, we'll also add a base condition. If less than 3, return false. Okay, so let's just run this code. And it gives the right result. Let's run this code for the input. And it gives the right result and let's run it for some other inputs that's it let's submit this code and it got submitted the time complexity for this algorithm is o of n and the space complexity here is o of 1 thanks for watching the video see you in the next one